Hi there, we're going to have a look at Workable, which is another applicant tracking software system. We've looked at previously at One Recruit as well. Uh, what we'll be doing here is having a quick look on their website and then we'll be jumping into having a look at what a trial looks like on Workable. Uh, you'll see across the top here you've got pricing, testimonials, a little bit about their business. Uh, for our case study and what we're looking at, we're just going to have one active job. I'd imagine that quite a lot of smaller businesses would be looking at the one to three active jobs um, going at any one time. So, And some people might find that they're kind of in between that. They might have two jobs going. So $49 per month might possibly be seem a little bit pricey to a smaller business um, to have three active jobs going. But I'm sure once we dive in there, we'll see the value definitely in having that pricing. Uh, so to find out more about Workable, you have to go to the home screen. Oh, we've got a nice big header image. Gives you a little bit of an idea of what it's going to look like. Uh, this is good. Gives you more of an idea, like the screenshots of it. Um, what's it going to look like on a mobile phone as well? Let's have a look. You can add it to a few different job boards. I'm in Australia, so I'm interested to know if they've got any Australian ones on there. I know Indeed does service Australia as well and Simply Hired, so could be helpful. This bulk email could definitely be useful in terms of sending emails out to applicants and even past applicants for other roles. Being able to send those out can be quite good. Uh, we'll have to have a look at this and and see what the how the messaging looks. This is where something I was thinking, I wonder what the actual screenshot of this messaging would look like. Uh, and then this is this is for all the managers out there that want to have reports and want to see how everything goes. Um, this is how it works with external recruiters, but you'll definitely have time to look at all this yourself, some of the people that they've worked with. So let's jump right on in. This is our dashboard after you've done the sign up. It asks you just to give your um, first and last name, your email address, you put in your company name and uh, they just ask a tiny bit more about your business which is fine. So what we're going to do, we're going to create a new position. Seems like the first thing to do, big green button. There is a getting started feature here which is handy. Okay, and because we work in financial services, we're going to list for a job called a power planner. Uh, we don't have a department or code, so hopefully that is fine. We might even click on the telecommute because we love having people working from home. We're based in Australia. Uh, if you... You'd obviously write a better job brief than that. Requirements, three years experience, software skills. And you'd write better requirements than that. Benefits. And it's obviously paid a lot less than that. And we've got employment type, is contract, we've got the industry. So I'm guessing this is going to work out well later on when I'm want to auto post it into some of those job functions into sorry those job software um, programs like monster and indeed and simply hired so let's see what the best one will be. probably go finance we might go not applicable for that and for this one we've got our education requirements let's say certification this is a per year, select currency, Australian dollars. Let's just say 100,000 to 150,000 per year. And we'll just add some key keywords and we'll save those changes. That was very quick and a painless to put that in. And this has loaded the application form, which 
looks great. I love the fact that it's previewing it down the side. Uh, looks like we can I'll click in on this side um, to do those details or click back out. Uh, so edu say education, I could turn that off and that could be something that you ask when you see them face to face. I can turn off their turn off the photo, make some things mandatory, so phone number I definitely want to get. Uh, we've got name and email which is mandatory. Experience, we've got that as optional. Might make a resume mandatory, cover letter can be optional. And we've got a few options here. We've got a free text question, yes, no, or multiple choice question. Uh, so we might just say, have you worked in this role before? Oh, and we can disqualify the candidate if they say no. Let's do that. And you can save that. I like that. It's very handy. And I, I love the preview. That is fantastic. Okay, the next we can put some premium job listings. We can put some free ones. Oh, here we go. We need to publish first to start accepting jobs. So let's publish. There you go. So that's where we would publish it if we want to. And then that goes on to these free job boards. Uh, we can invite recruiters. This is another interesting feature. Another great feature, being able to invite external recruiters to send you candidates for this position. So this would be great if you knew um, a few recruiters in your industry that you could send um, these to and say if you've got anyone send those across. That's a handy thing as well. If you've got more than just yourself or perhaps there's um, different steps in the process of recruiting someone, uh, then you'd be looking at the hiring. Now because we haven't published the position yet, we haven't quite, I just haven't looked into candidates yet, but that's where your candidates will show up. Agenda is a feature where you, you can go in there and actually schedule have, have a kind of workflow of where a candidate is and where you are up to in the process of interviewing them and going to the next step. Reports just gives you a rundown of what you've been doing. Activity, just activity stream. So what I've gone into now, I've just gone into recruiting preferences just to see what how you can customize this. And I can see from here that you can edit your pipeline stages, which is handy. Let me have a look if I click on there. You might be able to edit the wording, but you can actually click these around and move those. Um, and a few email templates for when you're sending them out to um, applicants as well. Update your privacy. A few other things here. Uh, members on your account, subscription billing, integrations. So we'll definitely have a look at those later. Uh, this this is where I clicked on the interview and we can actually change that later. Um, maybe I just I could just call that interview stage not to make any big changes. And so we've got that there, which is great that you can customize things. It definitely makes you feel a bit more at home when you've got everything um, named the same way that you would for your normal processes. So that is our quick look at workable. Looks like a fantastic solution and I look forward to finding out more about it.